If you wanna play your favorite games just like the masters, follow Will's tips because he's the fucking man. Uh, Will's video game tips. Ultimate, ultimate video game tips. Damn it. How to never, ever play Halo Combat piece of shit! Now you might have noticed right off the bat there that this is not a tips video for Halo. This is one of those I got to get this noise off of my chest right now type of videos. It's just every time I think of Halo I get super pissed like I could bust up an old man's hip joint with a Nerf baseball bat for no reason. Anyway, let's dive into it and get this over with, shall we? Now when Halo first came out, it was hailed as a creative, innovative, technological wonder. People also said it was quote unquote fun to play, but I'll get to that in a minute. But here's something most people don't know. You see this? This Halo looking ring shaped planet I'm showing you right now? Yeah, that's the cover of an award winning science fiction novel called Ring World. Ring World was written by Larry Niven, Niven, nah, uh, fuck it, in 1970. 1970. So it looks like Halo was over 30 years late to the fucking game. But simply ripping off the Ring World setting would be forgivable. But no. They had to go the extra fucking mile and rip the story straight from other notable science fiction novels of the past. Is there a thanks to Orson Scott card anywhere in the credits or manual of this game? No. Did they mention Ian Banks who wrote the culture series that Halo borrows from? No. Jesus, Halo, you're a little star shiny bitch who won't give anybody the credit they deserve for Frankensteining you together. Moving on. I mentioned earlier that people fell in love with Halo because it's supposedly fun to play. Well, I'll admit that the tactical style combat was done pretty well, but that's where my compliments end. Check this out. I think that the Master Chief is a pretty cool guy. He kills aliens and doesn't afraid of anything. He's a cyborg with some bitchin' suit of armor and skills out the ass, granted. He can throw a grenade 300,000 yards. He can jump 17.4 feet straight off the fucking ground. But he runs at a top speed of exactly four miles an hour. What the hell is the explanation for this? The gravity on Halo seems to be pretty standard. Maybe a little bit less than Earth, but not enough to account for Master Chief's painfully slow running speed. It's fucking ridiculous. How can you have a fast paced action game when the main character runs so goddamn slow? Then there's the weapons. Oh shit, here it goes. For some fucking reason, the developers thought it would be the bitchinest idea if the pistol, the fucking pistol, was the most useful weapon in the game. It's like a long range shotgun. It zooms in and is more accurate than the sniper rifle at long range. I've taken down banshees and ghosts with the pistol. It's better than the shotgun, the assault rifle, the sniper rifle, the plasma rifle, whatever the hell this thing is, which is just weird, and it's even better than the fucking rocket launcher. It's like, hmm, should I jump in the warthog and mow these enemies down? Fuck that, I've got the goddamn pistol. I'm nearly invincible with this son of a bitch, and it's even better than grenades. And there's another problem. Now, the frag grenades in Halo are awesome. They're not all that useful, but they do what the fuck they're supposed to do. They fucking explode, and that's fun. But the plasma grenade, also known as the sticky grenade, is retarded as hell. And you might be thinking, but Will, the sticky grenades, blah, 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 shut up and listen. Here's why the plasma grenade is bullshit. When you throw it, it generally sticks to anything organic that it hits, right? Then why the fuck doesn't it stick to your hand when you try to throw it? Oh, now the grenade is sentient and it gets to choose what it sticks to. It's a friendly grenade, is it? Won't stick to your hand, but it'll stick to every other living thing in the game? Sorry guys, I just can't buy that one no matter how cool the idea is. But what about the vehicles? Oh shit, it's on now. So the Master Chief is a totally trained badass killing murder machine, right? So it follows that he should be able to drive any and all human vehicles, but why the fuck? Can he automatically drive and fly every Covenant vehicle he encounters without any training whatsoever? Did the Covenant print English language directions inside their vehicles? Did the Master Chief read the user's manual really quick? No, he just jumps inside that shit for the first time in his life that he's probably never seen before, cranks it right up and flies it like he designed the damn thing himself. Sorry guys, I can't buy that one either. I mean, 
Did Gordon Freeman ever pull some bullshit like that? No, because Gordon Mad Dog Freeman has the common fucking decency to keep things somewhat logical. He knows that everyone knows that he can't drive the Combine shit, so he doesn't even bother. But even if he did, he's a scientist, not a military officer, so he could probably figure that shit out. Alright, so I've bashed Halo long enough. The only reason I bought this game is to make fun of it, and I'm not nearly done with that yet. But you'll have to wait for the next iteration of my Halo bashing videos. This concludes Will's Ultimate Video Game Tips for Halo Combat Evolved. Peace.